Hello, everybody, and welcome to Athletic Definition. My name is Coach Ray Z, and thank you for joining me today on my 75th episode. So to me, this is a milestone, and I'm leveling up. Uh, just got a mic, been uh, learning how to use it and everything else, but uh, I'm coming after you, Joe Rogan. Uh, you're already on my radar. I've uh, sent out emails to you and uh, everybody else, like Oscar de la Hoya, George Foreman, and... Uh, if you don't respond to me, I'm going to use like that Michael Jordan mentality. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen, uh, it, it just came out during the whole COVID and uh, man, I can't remember the name of it, but basically he, he said his mentality was that when, when he needed to be challenged, what he would do is he would make up that opponents were saying things about him, even though they really weren't. So that, He's like, oh, oh, you said that? You said you could stop me? You said you could score 30 points on me? And that just made the drive for him to work harder. Uh, and he would, he admitted that he he would make that up just to psych himself out. So I've learned to be able to do that without having any actual uh, real resentments towards you guys. But uh, I'm, I'm coming after you, Joe Rogan, uh, Mr. Beast on YouTube, uh, Food Theory on YouTube, Paul Logan, uh, you know, Little by little, you, you start getting your confidence, and and I've been checking. Um, you know, since I follow a little bit of everybody, get my inspiration. Um, like even my workouts, if you check my reel today, if you look at that, it's a combination of yoga, jujitsu, and some uh, sit ups that I learned from Bruce Lee. So I'm I'm always just trying to mix and combine. So when I'm studying like the top podcasters and fitness. I'm not only looking at them, I'm also looking at the top podcasters, period. I'm not only looking at them, I'm looking at the top TikTok people, period, uh, YouTube and everything. Cause there's different creators in every genre that on that platform, they're famous, but on another platform, you may not even have heard of them. Like, I don't know if anyone in who listens to podcasts or social audio has heard of Mr. Beast. That guy will be probably the first guy on YouTube to have a hundred million followers. He's probably like at 85 to 90 million right now. And he spends four to $5 million every month on his YouTube videos. His only goal is to make the best YouTube video and everything else will follow. So I'm, I'm taking that mentality. My, my, my whole mentality is to have the best fitness podcast out there. And I'm going after big guest uh, because then when I bring on the average person, I can spotlight them even more. The person that deserves a spotlight and then people will be able to get to know them more because, you know, oh, they, they've heard of me because someone famous was on here. I've had a lot of people say, okay, and then they back out. So I'll remember that too. Um, I'm, you know, <clears throat> as everything has evolving, I'm, I'm getting into NFTs. I'm listening a lot to that. So, you know, I, I could say I have over 10 NFT websites and I bought a lot of them with major fitness and everything that I'm interested in. And with that, I'm switching them all to be able to reroute them to me and, uh, going to take over the internet. So that's the plan. If you haven't heard of me and uh, you don't want to come on my show, you will hear about me. And I'm just going to do it the good old fashioned way. There's this, uh, I think, meme. Uh, and I know someone said it says, uh, hustle till you don't have to introduce yourself anymore. And that's that's the whole plan. And th I'm going into my little bit over six months in podcasting and I've hit 27 countries, uh, 45 states. And that's just my podcast numbers. That's not even the numbers on Fireside. Uh, and that doesn't include YouTube or Twitch, which I'm on there now simulcasting. So thank everybody for uh, tuning in on Twitch, uh, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, everybody else in the audience, I appreciate you. Farah, uh, you uh, as well. Uh, I think without her, I wouldn't be here uh, because she introduced me to this platform. So anytime you want to come on, you're more than welcome to. I actually did a show on NFTs last week and I knew I just had the feeling that the audience would like it. And, and I could tell they do because the numbers are up on that podcast. And so I want to do one on augmented reality and uh, also VR, how people are working out already in the metaverse. 
And I want to try and find some expert for that. Uh, I seen that they already have like LeBron James where you could play one-on-one. But at the time when I heard about it, uh, it wasn't like, I guess you could still see spots, but it was very realistic. I haven't actually tried the the VR uh, myself. Actually, maybe a long time ago, but at the time it was just barely getting started. So all I did was like rock climb, but I didn't really feel it felt very realistic or that I got a good workout. So I'm, I'm interested and I'm sure that everybody else is, is how, how can you use the metaverse to work out? And there could be some benefits, I think, and also some drawbacks because people won't want to actually go out and play the, the real thing or do the real sport. And there's a big difference between running in place uh, because you are seeing something and then actually going out for a run or uh, I, I've thought about it for jujitsu. If you're doing jujitsu, uh, there's nothing like rolling against the real life person uh, because I don't know, it, there's something about their counter reactions that I don't believe we have the intelligence yet for another robot to be able to duplicate something something like that it's such a chess match uh you do this i do that well you did this so now i'm gonna do that uh the thing i do think that it would be very cool though is like if you're injured say you broke something a popped out a rib that's kind of a common injury uh from popping a rib you can still train and kind of get stay in that flow and mentally think about jujitsu more than than you would if you you know, didn't have that opportunity through VR or augmented reality. So I'm looking to talk more about that uh, in upcoming shows. So thank you everybody for uh, supporting me uh, so far in 75 episodes. I appreciate everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. And then also uh, during the whole uh, Mary Fitness uh, series, if, if you don't know, know about that uh, during the month of uh, December I kind of go all out dress during very Christmassy the whole month and every, an outfit, different outfit every day give you different Christmas puns and I've been doing that for two years so uh, I got the NFT for that as well and so I'm looking forward to developing the Merry Fitness even more maybe even do it a uh, Christmas in July I looked into that and it, it, it celebrated. Uh, I'm also looking to, as soon as I kind of get things more situated, uh, especially now that I leveled up with some of my equipment, uh, I want to do athletic definition five days a week. Um, and, uh, you know, Fireside makes it so easy for me to be able to distribute. Um, and just looking at the numbers, uh, I mean, what I do is a lot. So with the ease of Fireside, uh, I'm not sure if I'd be doing it without all that because they just provide you with your copies and your videos so quickly. And everywhere I hop in and uh, listen to or watch a YouTube video or look up how to multi-stream or how to do a podcast, there's a lot even more work required. If if I didn't have this, uh, I wanted to uh, definitely appreciate uh, Fireside for giving me the opportunity. And this way I could uh, go after Joe Rogan and Logan Paul and Mr. Beast and everybody else. Um, And uh, let's see here. Um, I was supposed to have my friend today, Carlos, who is, uh, he's a marathoner and he typically, I wanted him to talk about it. He usually runs LA Marathon in a tutu. And you could just imagine some of the the things that are said to him. Um, I ran like with him like one year, like, maybe seven miles and yeah, there, there's a lot of negative things said. And then he did a hundred mile ultra. And after that, I think he maybe was burned out. I'm, I'm speaking for him. So that's why I want to have him on. And he started doing salsa dancing, but like all out salsa dancing. And uh, it, it looks very interesting. looks fun. It's another way to work out. And now he's gone back to running. He just finished the Catalina Avalon uh, 50 miler and he was supposed to be on today, but, uh due to him being um i don't know i don't know he's not recovering well something we'll we'll find out when he actually comes on the show so as of right now uh, i do have a lot of guests planned for the future i i wish i could give more details but uh it is really hard uh as i said i'm pretty much a the producer the director the editor the the distributor the the booker and um a lot of people have crazy schedules moving to different countries and, you know, some of the the guests that I'm trying to get that 
uh, half said yet. Uh, basically, uh, our, our movers and shakers, so it's, it's hard to get them um, to have some free time for a small podcast as they, as they see it for now. But uh, we'll see as, as the future evolves and, and, and um, I'm staying up to date with what's happening, the trends. Uh, I've always liked technology and, you know, working in the bank for 10 years, you know, I, I have a good understanding of money and, and uh, fraud man fraud would just happen all the time so uh between all the banking experience especially like fraud and fraud prevention and people always wiring talking about millions of dollars uh because i worked in in a treasury management so there's basically you know personal banking which is you and i and then they go to business banking and then from there they go to like you know, the corporate businesses where even banks are banking with you because they need a place to put money. And you, I'd always be getting the call, the email, uh, oh, I just wired so much money. And, you know, it's the same old thing, basic things. Did you check the, did you call the person before you wired that much money? Did you check to see if everything matched? Did you check to see if it was a secure email? You know, was there anything different about, about that? It's a lot better to always call the person, verify it before sending that much money. And then, you know, just growing up, uh, I I grew up uh, around a bunch of different people. So I got a lot of uh, street experience as well. And I grew up in the gangster era. So I got some some street knowledge and mixed with that, I, I, I could tell a bullshitter. So uh, you got to be able to tell that in, in everything. You know, there's fitness people that will rip you off. Um, there's so many bad fitness products out there uh, that they're just trying to make a quick buck, especially I would say like in the vitamins and proteins and, and shakes, a lot of that stuff. Uh, yesterday, uh, if you heard it with my guest, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Chris, he, you know, I, I mentioned that a lot of the products in GNC, you if you go to the UFC website, they're, they're banned because they typically have some sort of steroid that's not on the label. They're usually batched in other countries and they don't have like no FDA there, whatever that means to you here. Uh, but let's say, you know, you think it's whey protein and they didn't clean the batter right. So then the next batch has some sort of steroid because in certain countries, it's okay for you to sell steroids. So they don't clean it giant batters of, 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 you know, like protein, and then you get more calories than you think it actually has or more ingredients or extra ingredients that you didn't want. And so that's why a lot of that, you know, that shadiness, especially in the industry for the quick buck, I, I feel has to change. And uh, as, a, as the future is evolving and the way people just seem to be getting tired of, of you know, all the dishonesty, uh, that's what I would like. I, there's plenty of room and there's plenty of people that need coaches. I don't know anybody else who is promoting other coaches as much as I am. Most other coaches, I think I've seen a lot kind of hating on, on each other or they all kind of like band together and they're all talking inner jargon where the average person is intimidated uh, to want to ask a question or maybe even, you know, be in that, that room or their presence or, uh, you know, got to keep it kind of basic. And uh, not everybody is as, as passionate about your topic as you may think. And, and uh, in, in fitness, uh, just looking at the whole numbers of, you know, obesity, uh, the average person need to, doesn't need like, yeah, I watch your macros and your mic and this and that and, and your glutes and you got to talk to them just more. So I, it's understandable to them, you know, even I've had such a learning curve about cameras and lighting and you could speak really high tech when it comes to this, or you could be like, yeah, you need a light in front of you, one to the left and one to the right. Or you could go into the whole three point lighting system and this and this and that in the beginning, you're not ready for that unless someone's going to break it down to you, just like in working out. If you've never worked out, it could be very intimidating to walk into a gym. I, I want to do an episode and get the numbers down better, but, um, you know, I'm a, a jujitsu guy. So uh, there's the Gracie breakdown. It's, it's an older video. It's probably about seven years old and they're breaking down the, the toughest belt and, Typically, they say that the blue belt is the most difficult. And usually after you achieve your blue belt, um, which 
on average maybe could take up to two years. It's really hard to say because everyone kind of has different ranking systems. It's the same belts, but it, it varies because some people will give stripes and some won't. Some will give it to you maybe in six months and some will make you wait two years, all depending on level and everything else. Uh, but uh, in, in, in um, well, I lost my th uh, train of thought on the jiu-jitsu. I got so much into the, the whole uh, uh, color belts of the system and everything. But um, yeah, it, it's to me, the, the, the whole just being able to mix up your workouts, um, like I mentioned, uh, it, it's a variety. It keeps your body fresh. Um, like if, if you're running and you're not going backwards, if you play basketball, football, and you don't go backwards, um, I'm a big ATG guy, still trying to get Ben Patrick on here. Uh, Got to send him another message. Uh, trying to get the ATG doctor. He said, you know, we we're trying to work something out, but now he launched his own podcast. Plus he's a, like a D1 athlete. He's uh, working on his doctrine. He's got his two other degrees and he's training full time. So, uh, but man, he's a wealth of knowledge. So I definitely want to have him on here. And, and he's also uh, like trying to go for the Olympics. Um, so yeah, he, he's really high level. And I've, I've been blessed to be able to virtually train with a lot of the, these coaches, um, you know, during the pandemic, uh, there's no way to get together. And um, these group of guys and, and girls, they're from all over the world. So you get to hear uh, speakers and coaches giving insights on everything from running to, man, we had some like pro multi fighters to uh, self-defense guys that work for the FBI and uh, DA. And, and, you know, I didn't even really think about working out to be in shape for, for guns, but that that's for self-defense. I, I, that's something that I learned that, you know, if you can't kneel down and hold your firearm, you're, you're in trouble. And uh, a lot of people right now, especially in the United States have, you know, knee injuries. I always hear knees, shins, uh, Achilles. And uh, if any of that hurts, you know, I, I've uh, talked about slam board, monkey foot, monkey feet, and uh, the tip bar. Those are, to me, the most underrated, uh, unknown uh, workout tools that uh, can help pretty much everybody in any sport. And the, the, if you don't have a tip bar, you can still work out your tibialis without the tip bar. But the tip bar is like, if you want to take it to another level, it's, it, 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 it helps major and uh the monkey feet if you don't know what that is it's a it's a i've showed it it straps onto your shoe and then you put a dumbbell on the bottom and so you can lift your foot and it it, it hits the muscle that all the top sprinters the difference between an average person and and you know an elite athlete is that muscle so it, it really targets it and then you can uh, also hit it from reverse but in the gym, they have the padding. But since there's no padding on this, it's just like a boot. Then you get a better range of motion than, than you would just uh, going to the gym. And that machine right there would cost you so much. I, I can't remember how much it is. I think it might be about $80. I'll have to check. But if you guys are interested, it's Animal House. You can check out their Instagram. That they, they just came out with the weights as well. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them yet or anything, but I, I talk about them because to me that is a very effective workout tool. And the, the last one I mentioned is the slam board. If you don't know what a slam board is, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, one, I, there's so many uses, and uh, I'll do another show where I'll actually show. It's called the Foot Rocker. And they use it in rehabilitation uh, centers. Uh, I know one of my friends who tore his Achilles playing basketball. I showed it to him and he's like, oh, yeah, they, they had me do like like stretches with that. But to me, it's it's like garbage compared to a slam board. A slam board is going to hit way, way better, more different places. And then once you are loose in where you need to be loose, especially your soleus and your calf, then from there – you can start doing like squats on it. You can touch your toes. And then once you can touch your toes, you go past the slam board so you can like lengthen at the same time. Uh, and uh, all that you can see uh, is what I got from uh, Ben Patrick, who's ATG. 
he's probably got close to, I don't know, maybe a million followers now. Uh, he, he shares a lot of great information. That's, that's why I, I train uh, with him and, and I'm always like regurgitating what I learn and, and what I practice. I've been doing that for quite some time and you can feel the difference and everybody that I've showed loves it. And um, my friend, uh, he's been doing calisthenics for, I don't know, like 11, 12 years. So he can do the L sit. Uh, if you don't know what an L sit is, it's when you put your hands on your palms on the floor and you can pick up your own body weight whilst, while doing an L. And so he can do that. So, and he does jujitsu as well. Uh, he's a blue belt. I, I, so I trained with him and uh, he just read the, the Ben Patrick knees over toe book and He's like, man, I could feel a difference. He thinks he's going to be able to go f run faster. He, he likes to run too. He'll do like 5Ks and 10Ks. And he's, he's running a pretty good pace, like 7.30 something. And uh, he's like, man, I could already feel a difference. So I can't brag enough about ATG because you can do it with zero weights. And then if you want to level up, um, you can buy slam boards on you know, Amazon from like $60 to over $200 and it, you know, so useful. I, I'll, I'll keep doing future shows until it's a more common uh, tool. I've never seen one in a gym that's not like kind of maybe go more geared toward like specialty or bodybuilding, um, just like a, a reverse hyper machine. I, I've seen here and there, but that's not a common one. Um, that is uh, was created by, I can't remember his first name, but Westside Barbells. And a lot of people have like lower disc problems. That's a great way to strengthen your back. It's not a very common one. Uh, the Tib Bar, the Tibialis Bar, um, it sells for $100 or more. The, 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 mo the cheapest one is $99 and he ships it out to you right away. Um, now, I'm not sponsored by him, but I, I know the guy who created the company and trains with me. And, uh, I, you know, it's just such a great tool. And uh, let's see here. I would say those are probably like the three most underrated that are mobile. A reverse hyper is expensive and it's not mobile. So you, you really can't take it anywhere with you. Um, the other thing that I would love is the bands. If you have bands, they're, they're so mobile. Uh, you can take them pretty much anywhere. And uh, <clears throat> thank you, everybody, for listening and whoever joins in on the stream. I wanted to mention this show for now is every Thursday and Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time zone. I um, sometimes have guests, sometimes I don't. I purposely did a bunch of shows with no guests. Uh, that way I could get better on the microphone when I do have guests. And um, this is my second time using the microphone. And yesterday I had to keep fidgeting with it and moving it up and down because I didn't know that the little stand that I bought could move. So big learning cu curve in podcasting, but my goal is uh, by episode 100 to just have it down to a nice uh, nice point where uh, I'll be gunning for you, Rogan, and anybody else, uh, Ben Greenfield, I send you an email. Well, I try, I try, I reached out to you, so we'll see. I reached out to, he's got a top fitness podcast. Um, and the reason I want to bring him on, it's uh, not because he has a top fitness podcast, but he's one of the guys that I first listened to that would make my brain hurt. He would always be trying different things and be talking and he, he gets pretty technical. I actually heard him the other day on Clubhouse and I was surprised he was in there and I, I hopped in the room and he was in there, guess who, promoting Ben Patrick, knees over toes. He just did the podcast with him. And so... Uh, ben Greenfield, you know, he's a he's a guy in fitness that uh, we'll see if he he gets back to me. If not, you know, when when I'm dominating the NFT fitness game, Ben, don't don't when you come back, I'll be like, oh, remember when I reached out to you? Go back and look at that email and then we'll see. Uh, as I mentioned, there's no hard feelings. It's just that Michael Jordan mentality. Got to do it to get to the next level. Got to do whatever it takes to psych myself out. I love friendly competition. So uh, it's on in the friendliest way. And I'm not going to stop till uh, get number one. So spot, I, and you know what? Since I am on Anchor and Anchor and Spotify gave me early access to video, 
So besides Joe Rogan, I don't know anybody else who has video. Uh, I appreciate it, but I'm coming after you, Rogan. And uh, if you guys have TikTok or anything else, uh, or uh, please be sure to follow me. My athletic definition uh, has two followers, and I would appreciate the support. But on the flip side of that is just to let you know, if you're just starting out or you want to start, any sort of social media or any podcasts or anything, even if you don't have a lot of followers, even if you don't have a lot of likes, you don't know who's looking at what. I think I posted maybe six reels on TikTok, maybe seven. And it's not like a, any of them went viral, you know, maybe a couple got 100, 200 views, 500 views. But TikTok sent me a message saying, hey, we'd love to hear about your podcast. And to me, I was like, that is so cool because it just goes to show you, you don't need to go viral. You don't need people. If you're putting out good products, pe people are watching, the right people are watching. So uh, who knows what will come about it? Um, they, they have my information. They said if they wanted to reach out to me further. So we'll see. I, I didn't even know at the time. Well, I still don't know that. TikTok has anything to do with podcasts. So I'm sure like everybody else, you know, how LinkedIn added the voice chat. They, I'm sure they want to compete just like Facebook added the actual podcast, which I didn't even know, but there's a video option. And then when you go to video, you can click on podcast and that that's where mine's been going. Cause I, I found out that Facebook had an actual podcast feature. So I added myself, but I didn't, actually ever know where to find it so i just found that out so there's so much uh, new things out there and then i was added to pandora i was added to pandora it took me about six months and i was like is it even worth it do people listen to pandora but on pandora i wanted to say uh i see the numbers uh, so thank you i appreciate you guys so whoever listens on pandora there's actually quite a few people just kind of on the numbers that i've seen and and uh might as well shout out I, I, let's see if it's in order here. I want to, the thing is, uh, they'll, they'll show you the new countries that started listening. And then after that, they'll kind of move it around. So I know I'm going to miss one, but, uh, the newest countries is, uh, Turkey. So thank you to everyone listening down in Turkey, Indonesia. Thank you. Uh, Kuwait. And, uh, this last one, you know, they, they were trying to be like, I don't know, we want to stay out of it, but Switzerland, they couldn't be neutral. They they joined uh, the fans of Athletic Definition. So thank you, everybody in Switzerland, for uh, listening. And I got to say, Germany, I, I still wonder. Uh, that's my second biggest country uh, of listeners besides the U.S. So I don't know if you guys are uh, or, or girls in the military base or actual Germans who enjoy the show. But I appreciate Germany. I got to give you guys a shout out. And coming in third is the U.K. So Thank you, UK. And uh, thank you, everybody, for joining uh, next week. Uh, like I said, it'll be new surprise guest, uh, possibly, uh, uh, hopefully, a pretty big name in kettlebells. We're just trying to work out the details. And uh, besides that, I want to, once again, appreciate everyone's support for uh, number 75. You can go back and consume 75 episodes and hear how shitty I sounded and, uh, like, intimidated from my first episode to like my 74th episode and even till now each time i do it i, I feel better and better and i i appreciate everybody's support and uh for listening to me with bad sound so if i was able to reach uh, 27 countries and 45 states with horrible sound and bad lighting before uh just um looking to bigger and brighter things ahead especially since uh you know, people are noticing and, and I appreciate Fireside and everybody's support. So thank you uh, for joining and I'll hopefully be able to bring on Carlos next week since he wasn't able to make it. So uh, thank you once again. My name is Coach Ray Z, Athletic Definition. Until next week.